For the majority of the people on the planet, their primary source of protein in their diet isn't cows, sheep, or even nuts, but fish. Whilst extensive research has been done into all forms of agriculture, the same isn't so when it comes down to our oceans. There has been some detailed research done that due to quite literally the fluid nature of our oceans, individual nations' research has been limited. Fish, shark, whales, even plankton are no respecters of territorial waters. Much of their activity takes place either at a depth or a distance from the shoreline, making research both difficult and expensive. What research there has been is generally into the management of fish levels and breeding areas. From this limited research, we know that many fish are at dangerously low levels and stocks uh, have to be carefully managed in order to prevent overfishing. There are, however, great swathes of our oceans which appear to be virtually devoid of fish. The primary reason for this seems to be lack of algae or phytoplankton in the area, so there's little for the fish to feed upon. Generally, the chlorophyll-bearing organisms are found in cold waters, near the poles or around shallow coastal waters. Their numbers can suddenly increase in the form of an algal bloom, but these occur in certain limited areas. The temperature of the water isn't necessarily a key factor. The nutrients in the cold water are, 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 are what's needed. And though cold water can provide some additional dissolved oxygen than warm water can, that might not be the limiting factor. Modern farming methods, though, have added chemicals to the land to make it more fertile. So the question is, could we add some missing chemicals to make the oceans flourish? Well, there have been some experience by adding iron to some areas of the ocean to increase um, the, their levels, but these have had mixed results. But even measuring the levels of various elements in the oceans are complicated by contaminants from the hulls of the ships, attempting to do the various measuring. Key elements that are required, uh, even trace amounts, amounts for growth, include manganese, nickel, zinc, boron, vanadium, cobalt, copper, and molybdenum. However, too high a concentration of these elements may even inhibit algal growth. So what's needed is a big international effort or cooperation between nations to actually find out what can we do to improve the fertility of our oceans and increase fish levels in order to keep feeding the planet. Hopefully you'll find this useful.